Tonight, our Robin Roberts is changing the world again. She showed us all the powerful possibility of a bone marrow transplant and how you can become a donor. And then this morning, she showed how you return from a struggle stronger than ever. Her co-anchor, Josh Elliott, was right beside her. He's right here with me, and it was so great to be with you this oh, morning so good down to at see Times you there Square. in the hallway, Diane. And it was beautiful, wasn't it? And as you know, as well as anyone, Diane, uh, it was, Robin was gonna be back. It was gonna be difficult. It was gonna take her months, and it was going to ask everything of her, all that she had to give. But today, after so public and painful a road, and with a touch of nerves, she made it all the way back. I've been a pair, five times. There you go, baby! Yeah. Five, four, four, three. Hi, it's Robin, and I have been waiting 174 days to say this. Good morning, America. What no one could see in front of the camera. What we saw behind the scenes of a morning we'd all longed for. Faith, family, and friends have brought me to this moment and I am so full of gratitude. A day of celebration after an arduous trek that began last June when she first told us. It is a rare blood disorder that affects the bone marrow. To a few months later when we saw her in treatment receiving her sister's precious bone marrow. This journey is as much about the mind as it is the body. We prayed with her. We sang. We watched in awe as she fought. I know my former teammates at Southeastern, they were like, they'd go, two, two pounds. <laughs> that's it? <laughs> yeah, that's it. But it's one more pound than I did the last mm -hmm. time. And she willed her body to match her spirit, all leading to today. How was it? Like riding a bike. <laughs> so no, shaking and bumpy and all over the road. You know, uh, my doctor said to me a few days ago, he said, it's time to take off the training wheels. Mm -hmm. It feels good. And I just wanted to come back to work. Mm -hmm. Her doctors reminded us that she's still walking the path to recovery. Today, it's the dress rehearsal. I don't care who the interview is with. If you're not well enough to go, you're not going. Robin's got a busy few days ahead of her with the Oscars and an interview with the First Lady. I have to say physically, I feel I have good numbers. I have better platelets than Sally Ann right now. <laughs> her sister, Sally Ann, her donor, quite literally with Robin now, every step of the way. It was the easiest thing in the world to be a donor and I'm just so amazed at your strength. And at long last, Robin's remarkable journey had finally taken her Home. I know everybody, nobody should touch her. Nobody should touch her, but I get to. I, <laughs> I got special. Welcome back. Thank you. Friend partner. Thank you. And when she left, Diane, of course, we all swore that oath of friends and family that her fight would be our fight. And then we were all left to wait and to hope. And then she did what she's always done. She fought and she won. And so did we all. And she was so back. What is she talking about? Training wheels. Yes. Come on. Come this on. is a two-wheeler. Come on. She's in the fast it. lane if ever there was one. <laughs> For sure. And I want you to know that on Friday, I'm going to sit down with my friend, and we will talk about everything, as we always do. And it's part of a special edition of 2020 Robin's Journey at 10 p.m. Eastern.